Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've done any kind of planning video. To be honest, I've just been a little uninspired with my like regular planner. Um, I still like it, but you know, I get in these ruts sometimes and I know a lot of you do too, but today I wanted to share this planner right here, which I've actually really been liking and I am going to be doing, since I do back planning, I'm going to be sharing my month of March. So um, this is the Erin Condren 2019 monthly planner. I believe these are called the petite planners. They're just like a, I don't know, like a bound flexible planner. Oh, whoops. I already put the washi I want to use in here. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a lot smaller um, than the regular life planner, as you can see. And I don't know, I just really like these. And I think it's nice because you could like throw it in your bag or put it in your like drawer at work or just even like leave it on your desk at work or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think I, I did a video on this a while ago with a bunch of other things. And um, to be honest, I haven't been using the other things at all, but I really like this. So this is what I did in January, you know, not a ton, but some stuff. And then in February, I really slacked. But anyways, um, in March, I haven't done anything yet, but I have my other calendar off to the side here. So we're gonna fill some things in. Um, so let me see if I can kind of get this to lay a little flatter. I know we're kind of in the beginning. Um, and then anyways, uh, all the way through, so it has the whole year, and then it has like a ton of notes pages um, that are lined, which is nice. And that's got like a little flap right here if you wanna, you know, throw like an invitation in there or some paperwork that you need or whatever. So anyway, let's get to planning y'all. I haven't pulled out any stickers. I just pulled out some washi because there's um, something that I need to put in for the washi situation. So the first thing I'm going to put in is on the same day I had two different kind of food dates <laughs> with people. So I got to find some um, appropriate stickers for that. And I need to find myself some like smaller event stickers. I think I have some here in my Chrissy and Designs binder. Not really sure, but we are gonna see what I have because these boxes are way smaller than like this, which is like, you know, normally fits like an Erin Condren vertical. Um, but I think I have some smaller ones in here. I've got way too much Chrissy and Design stuff in here, but uh, I guess you can never, you can never have enough, right guys? <laughs> Okay, where are those little things? Maybe I don't have any more. <laughs> I have used them up. Mm. Let's see. Ya. Ah, this is what I'm looking for right here. These guys right there. And if y'all are interested, it's the KAD00232. So, all right, I'm gonna pull this one out and use up what a can of that. And I got my pens, as always. All right, so the first thing was I had lunch with my friend Heather, um, and we just went to Panda Express. We both uh, kind of work by each other. So um, she actually works from home, but that uh, week she didn't. So we made a lunch date. And this month I'm not gonna be like really going with any specific theme at all have these little guys. This, I think this sticker company, I couldn't find a while ago. I don't know. I'll, I mean, I'll link everything down below, whatever I can find. So, um, but yeah, I got these a long time ago, like when I first started planning and I still love them. And then also that same evening, um, I did a little go wild thing with Jody and Ryan. And I don't know if I've posted this yet by the time that this goes up, but um, these are like all my go wild stickers that I have purchased for the trip. So I figured I would use maybe one of these, some of these, something like that. I don't know. And um, let's, let's see, let's see what I wanna use in here. Maybe I'll use one of these that has like a little go wild on here. This is from Planertopia. I only have so much room to write. Urgh, urgh. All right, I'm gonna have to cut this one for sure. But we met up for um, some dinner that evening, which was, delicious and then the next day these are from um, birds fly studios i actually bought our pajamas because we talked all about it 
So I'm just gonna put here by pajamas. Whoops, I'm gonna put this up just a little bit. Super cute. All right, and that Wednesday I also had a QC meeting, so I'm gonna put that in. Lots of quality control at work. Yay. <laughs> so I had that, and then I actually had a doctor's appointment on Thursday. Met with Dr. Blady. So much fun, guys. So much fun. Not really, but you know, whatever, right? All right, so I had a doctor's appointment that day. And I've got these cute little doctor peoples. I put that in. And since we're on the doctor theme, um, because of that doctor's appointment, I had an ultrasound. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Um, I had an ultrasound the next week. So we're going to just put that in as well. I'll we'll probably get questions. No, I am not pregnant because ultrasounds don't necessarily mean that you're pregnant. Okay. Another doctor appointment sticker right here. And do it like a dot. I'll put in another little doctor person. I guess it wasn't really a doctor's appointment. It was just more of a, like a tech appointment kind of a thing. But either way, putting it in anyways. All right, that was it for doctor stuff, I think. <laughs> yes. It was, it was. And then moving on to this week, I know I kind of jumped around, sorry. Um, I was sick. So I had a migraine, which really, really stinks. So um, I chose not to work from home that day because migraine and I didn't want to look at a screen at all. All right, and my Christian Designs binder, I'm gonna use this. It says sick day, but there's like a little tissue on here. This, these are like the Cindy um, lettering stickers, which are so cute. And um, I also have these once more with love uh, headache stickers. So I am going to kind of put these together somehow, some way. I've never used one of these clearly. So let's use a pink one. And that was on this day right here. Oh, I hate getting migraines, you guys. It just really sucks. I'll use one of these little dudes. Maybe I'll put it, oh yeah, yeah. Here, I'll put it right over the little tissues because I didn't have a cold, I had a migraine, which bleh, no fun, no fun guys, no fun. All right, and then on Tuesday I had an oil change and I just found these stickers. Um, I cut them all up because I've stored my stickers in like a bajillion different ways. So these are actually from Adriana Piper, which are super cute and it's like a whole, I don't know if she still has the sticker sheet. Maybe she does, I'm not really sure. I bought these a long time ago, like years ago. Um, but it's like a big, uh, kind of like car maintenance, like auto maintenance uh, sheet. So yeah, but yeah, I did that on the 12th. And I'm just gonna write in that it was at uh, 5 p.m. All right, perfect. And then I don't really have anything notable for the rest of the week. And then now I need some washi. And this washi I got from Michael's and it was part of the first Christian Designs launch at Michael's. I know there's like a second season right now. I don't know if it's a season. I'm probably calling it the wrong thing. Sorry, Kristen, if you're watching, I'm not really sure. But there was like a, you know, like new stuff, which was kind of cool. I haven't, you know, to be honest, I haven't been to a Michael's in such a long time, um, but I did get some of the um, Christian design stuff for Michael's. This is part of the washi that I had purchased, and it doesn't come on a bobbin like this. I just rolled it onto a bobbin because that's how I store my washi. I, you know, don't prefer it in a full roll. That's just me. And then, let's see, I should do this as well. I'll mark down what these are in just a minute. <laughs> All right, so at work, um, my coworker that works remotely was here during this time, and then I had to do some training with her remotely because she was uh, back in her home then, and she works from out of state. So we did lots of training together this week. All right, her name is Sarah. And I'm gonna use one of these little cute stickers from, um, let's see here, Plan About It. Come here. Yeah, there we go. These are the these are the tiniest desks that I have. Cute, cute, cute. All right. So 
we did that and then sadly uh, my cell phone that I had, it was like a Apple 7 Plus, I think it was. Um, overnight that night, my alarm didn't go off that morning because my phone just completely like blacked out. Didn't, I, you know, like I couldn't start it again. I couldn't do anything. Um, so anyways, <laughs> I had to go get a new phone at the Apple store. But first I like made an appointment at the Apple store and did all of that stuff. So I had to leave work just a little bit earlier than I normally would that day just to take care of that. Um, and then I ended up getting the iPhone XR. Yeah, iPhone XR, that's what it is, like the newest phone. So anyway, I'm just gonna like put XR on here and uh, you know, go for it. Looks good to me. <laughs> I don't really need more explanation than that. All right, so that's what happened that day. How fun. Spending money I didn't want to spend. Woohoo! Ooh, and then I need sports stuff. <laughs> it's probably the first time I've said that in a video. <laughs> um, and then Wednesday, I went to one of our sports stadiums. What is it? U.S. Bank Stadium here in uh, the Twin Cities. And uh, the NCAA is going to be in town at some point. I don't know. Uh, my company, the company that I work for is providing um, some of the products to convert a football stadium into a basketball stadium. So anyway, um, I went there and got a tour of the progress and what they were doing on the 20th. And um, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It was really very, very interesting. So, and then Sarah and I both went. So it was kind of cool that she was in town while that was happening. And then basketball, even though there was no basketball being played. There wasn't even a court up yet, so. Ooh, and then I need another one. <laughs> look at, look at me and all my sports stuff this month. I actually did a lot of sports stuff this month, cool. All right, and then I had a meeting on the 21st about some HR stuff, but it actually was about something that was happening at my like building facility. So then I'll put a little baseball because it was about a baseball themed thingamajiggy. So I'll put that there. Wow, there's so many sports. All right, and then here, I'm gonna write in what I was doing. Um, I was shell training. Okay, my camera just cut off and I don't know what the last thing that I said was, but um, I'm gonna put in here that I was uh, shell training. So that's what I was doing that day, or those days, I should say. Did it for two days. Um, but when Sarah was here, she was like teaching me how to properly um, do the shells. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I also put a sign on my desk that said I was closed. <laughs> if you needed any help to call Sarah. <laughs> but uh, some people respected the sign, other people did not respect the sign. So it, you know, it took me, took me a lot longer than uh, I thought. So, but that's all right. I got the job done and um, yeah, I'll probably be doing uh, more acoustical shells a very, very soon. So my work bestie, Jamie, we sit across from each other. Um, she is obsessed with Jonathan Van Ness from Queer Eye and she has gotten me on the JVN train. So uh, he's actually coming into, I don't know, it's like not a concert, but it's like, I don't know, he's coming and he's doing something. I don't know exactly what he's doing, but he's gonna be at the Minnesota State Theater um, this fall, but the tickets went on sale this day, so we bought tickets and we are going, and we are both very, very excited. So I have these cute little Admit One tickets, plan about it, JVN ticks. To say that like she's pumped is like a little bit of an understatement, but I'm pretty pumped too. I'm very excited. We're gonna have fun, fun, fun. All right, and then on Thursday was the Minnesota Twins home opener. And that's what I had to talk to HR about because I was kind of like hosting it for um, my building. So they just needed some help with some things. So, hmm, I don't have like a blue or a red, which is kind of what I want. Let me see what else I can find around here. All right, here we go. There is red stickers right there. Yay. I just want to write lunch. So the company provided lunch for us this day, which was very nice of them. And then I have these from Paper and Clips, and they're like the Minnesota Twins logo. So we'll just put that right there. 
And maybe we'll put a baseball because I have them out. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> there we go. Lunch. Awesome. Okay, put that back. And then on Saturday, I had another go wild fun thing happen. I went over to Ryan's house from A Man With The Plans and we had like a little brunch and Jody was there too and we just kind of like discussed go wild stuff. So it was kind of good. And Ryan made this like really yummy egg bake which was delicious. And um, Ryan made this like super yummy like egg bake thing. It was delicious. Thanks Ryan if you're watching, it was really, really good. And then I actually just got these in the mail not too long ago. I had purchased these from Erin Condren and this is like the Go Wild set. So maybe I'm gonna use one of these. Hmm, what should I do? I don't know. Oh, that doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, you know what, I could put it right here. That's all right, I don't have like things to do. So and maybe I wanna use like some other Go Wild stickers that I have over here. All right, and I'm gonna use this sticker right here that says Go Wild Las Vegas from Planertopia. Um, put that right, oh gosh. <laughs> I just like, I can't do anything. Okay, I got a whole new plan now. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. See, this is like real life of when you really, you know, mess up some things and you didn't think about it before, so you done messed up. Okay, okay. I'm gonna use a sticker now because <laughs> I'm messing up. <laughs> That's all right though. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this like a little bit above it, so yeah. Okay, cool. All right, I like that. That's good for me. Oh, and then I forgot to put, um, I purchased our, t so I bought pajamas on this day because we had like a conversation about it. And then I believe that Friday, yeah, it was that Friday. I purchased our airline tickets, you know, so we could like all be in the same row or whatever. So that was good. So I'm gonna use this from Planertopia. It's just called Air Travel. And let's see, which color should I use? I don't know. Let's use one of the pink ones. Oh, it's just the first one here, why not? I'm just gonna write Minneapolis to Las Vegas. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so that is it for my March monthly view in my 2019 monthly planner from the Petite Planner line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna be using this for um, the next month as well. So I actually have something in here already, hair appointment, 5.30, yay. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be using this for next month and I'll probably be uh, filming a video if you guys are interested in this. I know this is kind of like a very different thing for me to share because I really have never been in this before but yeah let me know if you guys are interested and um, I can you know make this a monthly thing if this is kind of what I'm gonna stick to so let me know down in the comments below but anyway I am gonna jet thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I really appreciate it if you haven't already make sure to give the video video a thumbs up I cannot talk today and uh, hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see y'all in the next video bye guys well folks it's time to kick it old school uh. So you can feel cool.